Now, I want you to beg. Beg like we begged when you were burning us in the streets. You remember that? Do you? No. Here's what's gonna happen. You're running out of time, and I'm running out of patience. So, you are gonna drop 10 million in cash, in a bag, in the lobby of the building. I'll talk to you every once, once a day. Once a day, every day, without fail. I'll call. It doesn't work like that. I think you don't love me anymore. That's how can you say now that? I, I know that now. How I can you say that? You don't even love me. I'm That's doing this for us. Years. I'm doing this for us. You want more? I... Well, you gotta take risks to get more. You think I didn't take a risk? Well, I picked you up. Where did I pick you up from? Yeah, some back alley theater, right? You're doing improv. Uh -huh. I picked you up. I took a risk, and look how well that paid off. This is another risk that I expect you to trust. Me. This is what I want you to understand. If you hurt me, I hurt you back, and I promise you that I will chase you until either I die or I get you. He, he, he dragged us there and, and my dad, you know, needed to cut his wallet to give it to him, but he was, he was nervous, so it slipped out of his hand. And this guy lost, lost it. And so he went for my dad with the gun. And that's when I jumped in at the same time. I wasn't thinking. I didn't purposefully do any of this, all right? Right, I don't know how. I, do, I don't know how to use a gun. I'm a student. I've never used a gun before. I, I, I can't keep loving you while I'm hating myself because I also know that you deserve better than what I'm able to give you. You do. And that's a fact, okay? And we've gone back and forth on this, but for, for real this time. You can work something out, you can work something out, okay? Just, just talk, talk, what do you want? How many do you want? I don't feel this because you! Put yourself in my position, what would you have done? You huh? Hey, are you okay? Hey, wake up, come on, you okay? You okay, come on. It's okay, it's okay. What are you looking at? Call the cops! Come on! Do something! <laughs> no, wake up! Come on, come on, you're fine! You're fine! It's okay! It's okay! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, hello! Hello, yeah, I, I, I need to report a kidnapping. Uh, I called the police! Why would I lie? I was the one holding his body in the streets. Were you there? No! You know some idiot they said to try and defend me? I didn't do anything! I'm a, I'm a journalist, okay? I write stories. I work for the news, okay? My brother was killed. Hello? Yeah, where have you been? Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Listen, listen. Four guys have broken into the house. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Listen, you have to call the cops. You have to call the police right now, okay? I tried calling them, but the number's not going through. I don't know why. If you're watching this video, two nights ago, my brother's body was dropped off in front of our family's house. He'd been shot twice in the stomach and the police claimed that it was normal gang-related violence. However, I know for a fact that this is a larger conspiracy about police corruption that has been covered up by businessman Robert Oasis. I know this because I'm a journalist and I've been working this case for the last six months. I've had death threats. I've had people come to try and kill me. But this man has been ruining lives for too long. He's tried to attack us, he's tried to kill us, and he has succeeded.